Hi guys. <laughs> I don't know if this is a depressed collapse of Terry and Wine or what you want to call it on this uh, on this chilly winter night here in Paradise in Garfield, Texas on February 1st, 2018. So uh Good Lord, just when I thought that I have heard everything from the PC Buttercup police, they have ratcheted up the, uh, the attack against Hambone Littletail. So I'm not, I, I don't know how much longer uh, I, I'm going to have left uh, on the internet. I, I'm feeling like my days are numbered. Uh, and, and here is the latest reason. Uh, one of <laughs> one of uh, our alert female tribes members who shall remain nameless, we will call her. We'll call her Lulu. Lulu uh, and I are. We. I've never met Lulu. We have been emailing back and forth. Uh, for several months and getting we, we know each other well enough at this point uh, to I don't know if you're going to call this flirting but just kind of joking around with each other okay we're comfortable enough with each other to be joking around and anybody who knows the Hambone ironic satirical sense of humor probably will know uh, what uh, the joke is about. So anyway, Lulu is sending me some unknown surprise gift from Amazon.com. Lulu is, is having Amazon deliver me a, a gift here in paradise. And I have no idea what this gift she's sending me is. So I asked her uh, in, in reference to some comments, uh, the now I think 122 comments on my famous P word video. Uh, a couple of guys recommending that I get a blow up doll uh, to rectify my problem with uh, female company in my life. So and so when Lulu announced that she was sending me a uh, a a gift, I asked her if she was sending me a blow blow up doll, and she responded back. No, with your exquisite taste in women, you will need one of those $10,000 real-life dolls from Japan. You can program them to say what turns you on. That would be something to hear, Hambone. So, I, uh, I sent back this response. You mean you can program them to say Quote, pull your head out of your ass, you clueless fucking moron. Don't you realize we are so fucked? That is the sweet nothing I always love to hear. Or it's at least the one I always whisper to my exquisite uh, alcoholic, passive-aggressive girlfriends. And... I sent that off to Lulu, and I got a message not delivered for the first time in my life. Uh, this is from my Humpty Dumpty Tribe Gmail account. For the first time in my life, tonight, there was a problem delivering your message to Lulu. This message violates our email policy. And so I took it over to Yahoo Mail, uh, which I have been using for 20 years. 
I have probably sent one million emails in my life. Probably one million emails. So I copied and pasted the message uh, that got flagged by Gmail and went on to Yahoo Mail and sent that to Lulu. And take a wild guess, it too was flagged for violating the Yahoo Mail terms of service. So I tried to go on to, uh, so I went on to Gmail trying to read all this legalese gobbledygook uh, for their terms of service to see what it was. I did not use the P word anywhere in the thing. Yeah, of course, you can't get through these. The good old Mashable, good old Mashable has done my work for me and they have written up a guide, 12 ways to get banned from Gmail. Just how bad do you have to get banned from Gmail? How many policies and terms do you have to violate to warrant suspension or worse, Google termination? Google has discretion on the site with the sole power to warn, suspend, or terminate those in violation of its policies at any time. So, uh, so in order to ensure your continued ease of access with Gmail, and we can say the same for Yahoo Mail apparently, we have compiled a list of things you should not do unless you want to lose your account. Uh, and let's see, there's the usual one. So let's get down to, uh, I guess I violated two terms. Send any unlawful, defamatory, harassing, abusive, fraudulent, infringing, obscene, or otherwise objectionable content. Wow. Any, any what Google or Yahoo Mail's bots considers to be objectionable content. Objectionable content. Uh, so Mashable's advice for number five, uh, this list of illegal content seems pretty all-inclusive. So we suggest just send, upload, and distribute only cute pictures of cats. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess that's it. Are those the... No, it keeps going. They said it was a list of nine, but I guess they've added some. Uh, let's see, I guess that was the one that I violated was number five. Uh, I'm telling you guys, uh, this shit, I mean, it's funny now. Uh, it's funny now, but make no mistake about it. No fucking mistake about it. That these goddamn little uh, buttercup politically correct cops, they're out for blood. Uh, I have decided in the past couple of days that in many ways these little politically correct uh, looking for a personal insult behind every tree uh, vermin out there, they are worse than trolls. I actually put them worse than trolls and if my uh, if, if my channel suddenly disappears from YouTube, meaning from Google, if Google suddenly decides 
that Humpty Dumpty tribe is transmitting any objectionable material, I will disappear. And this is not coming from trolls, you understand. This is coming from these fucking little snowflake, uh, buttercup, whatever you want to call these people. And as I said uh, to, to a, to a non-buttercup person, that if I voluntarily uh, dump Humpty Dumpty tribe and go back uh, to being a normal human being again, it's not going to be because of the fucking trolls. It's going to be because of, of, of these uh, pain in the ass, the, these whiny little gnat buttercups. Uh, they are running the world. Uh, I'm telling you guys, this is uh, the, the 1950s all over again. Anyway, I'll just make this next one a separate rant. I did get Vimeo.com to uh, release my channel once again. So, but I'll come back in a uh, in a separate rant here in a here in a minute. I just want to chronicle this because I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, I am not long. Uh, for being bounced off of YouTube. There are plenty of people gunning for Hambone Little Tail's ass and it ain't the goddamn climate change deniers. We know exactly who the fuck it is. You whiny little pieces of shit. I want every one of you little fucktards to get off my channel. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sick and tired of you. Go back to your cute cat videos. We don't need your kind here. Goodbye and good riddance to you fucking little PC cop buttercups. Go fuck yourselves. Bye guys.